So on my right eye, I will use the applicator and my finger. On my left eye, I will use the brush. So we're going to go right in with luster. So I also approach the three colors when I tell my clients they're in a hurry. So if you're in a really quick hurry and all you have is time for flawless and five plus one more thing, grab your lightest shade, or you can also grab your all over kind of the lid and buff that out. It depends on the mood that you're in, but I like to take the lighter color and I I will just take the applicator and go right in without even thinking about it. I let the applicator do the work for me and I kind of just without overthinking it, you don't have to be perfect. It's one of the many reasons why I like these shadows. They're forgiving you have a minute. Take your ring finger because it's your weakest and just gently go in and press. I also like to take my pinky finger and just with the tip of my pinky finger, because it's smaller in that area, all I'm doing is pressing. And you can already see how pretty is that. So you can apply, if you're in a hurry, on the inner corners of the eyes, and then even take it just a little bit more across the lid. Don't overthink it, right? And just press it down. So just tell your clients, they can do this exact same thing. You're going to press this into where it just melts into the skin. Anything excess I have, I'm now just stippling up into the brow. If I'm in a hurry, the last thing I wanna look like is if I did a real quick, like heavy wash of color just on the lid and I didn't softly buff something out. So to me, this is a really quick way to just do flawless and five plus one. Now I'll show you what happens when you use a brush. Now, let me just explain something to you with brushes. You, There's no wrong answer with brushes, but the brush you choose is going to determine the finish. So a fluffier brush is going to softly diffuse it more, right? Which is very, very pretty. I like to use my soft, fluffier brushes for my contour. So we're gonna save that. Uh, I like more of a pencil brush. Pencil brushes are really good or thin, flatter, tinier, flat brushes are good if you're looking to really kind of like carve out in here or define underneath the liner. So we'll visit these in just a minute. I really love to use just a fun little cruelty-free, vegan safe. This is a, I think these are Jeffree Star, I think. Morphe brushes, I know they're Morphe brushes. Um, I like to use kind of like a flat synthetic brush. There's no wrong answer. Um, this one I like if I'm doing just a quick wash over of color. This one's really good if we're looking to just do in the corner of the eye. So I'll do the, the little bit of the bigger one. Again, I'm gonna go back in with luster and I'm not overthinking it. I'm putting it on exactly how I just put on the other one and I'm just coating the whole eye. Now I do have extensions and I did put a little bit of our mascara on our na my natural lash, so I'm working around that as well, which is so great. One of the many things I love about working with cream shadows is you have no fallout. So now you'll see what I'm doing as I'm going in, I'm still touching upon the same area and I'm gently patting this down. So when you use something synthetic, it's going to pop the pigment just to scooch more, not huge, but look at how pretty. See, you can't, there's no wrong answer. Now, anything I have left on my brush, I'll just gently come up here and press in. Again, I wanna look really subtle. This is if all I have left <laughs> is to do one more thing, here's your one more thing. Now let's go ahead and get into the all, all over or the contour. So now I'm going to use this as my outside contour and my liner, again, which is dusk. We'll get to this in a minute. So here's sepia. So when we want to approach where do we put our contour? So no matter whether you're hooded, hooded, lidded, uh, large, lidded, almond shape, doesn't matter. The application, and yet it matters in the sense that you have to at least, if you want the color to stand out, you gotta go a little bit higher than the natural fold of the eye, right? But what I tell everybody is when you get to your middle color, think middle of eye. So all I'm doing is I'm going to go in here I'm not overthinking this at all. And I am almost kind of striping down and I want a little, so you always just kind of wherever your eye kind of ball is, that eye 
socket right here at the edge of the orbital bone that's where you want to always land your contour not where you it's not where you think it should go it's where your actual orbital bone is so you can see so even when i have my eye open there it is boom so all i'm going to do with my ring finger again because it's the weakest is I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna pat press this in. I'm not gonna move it around a lot. It melts in so pretty. It's just so beautiful. Look how pretty that is. So that's pressed in. So again, if we wanna use brush, I'm going to put it in the exact same place. I'm gonna go right down the center. I'm gonna stripe down the center of the eye kind of feel where the applicator just want to get wants to just sink into the eyeball and just do a little bit of a half moon so i can grab any one of these fluffy guys i'll grab the fluffiest now when you hold a brush closer here you're going to get a deeper kind of definition when you hold a brush towards the end you get you're in more control and always go in in a circular motion which is what i'm doing and i'm just very lightly where i started the color and where i ended that color buffing out or blowing out so you can see a little i mean not a lot but a little bit more of a difference and what i love about using brushes with a little bit of deeper colors is you can see that it it doesn't you can see here, it's a lot softer and natural. Uh, one coat with finger, one coat with brush. So there you go. Still beautiful contour. One's just a little bit deeper. What's great is when I'm done with this, I'll just go and make this eye match this eye. So technically this could be day, this could be night. This is completely layerable, any color you pick. And then closing it big time with dusk. This color is gorge. So you always want to think of the outside of the eye first. Don't be afraid, right? And I tell everybody just hit just right here. Just right here that's it see where i'm doing that because then when you close your eye you've already created the perfect wing if you go under here first with a little bit of liner a little bit of color and then do this you have the perfect wing you have the perfect placement so i'm just going to follow that and just follow up on that socket and this little area where I don't have any color, I'm just gonna flick it in there. That's how easy these colors are to work with. So, cause this is a smaller area and I'm gonna show you how beautiful this blends. I'm just with my pinky finger tapping. You, I'm not rubbing, I'm not forcing anything. And then I'm coming underneath with my pinky finger and I'm tapping. And as I tap, I am gently stopping about halfway underneath the eye. And there is my day look with three colors. It's that simple. This is gorgeous. I am in love. Now, some people, again, if you have time, you can go back in with luster and maybe I'd hit right here on the high point of my brow and take my ring finger and just kind of hit right in here. Man, that is beautiful. Look how pretty. So this eye is ready to go. And then we can even take it a step further, come outside of the lid entirely and go into the inner corner of the eye, ring finger again, right there, and just gently press that in. And that just melts so beautifully. So this is my day eye. Again, easy using luster, using sepia, and then using dusk. So luster, sepia, and dusk. Now we're gonna use, go to this eye quickly. Um, same thing, going to take dusk. We're gonna do with a brush now. And with this brush, here's where we have these tighter looking brushes, right? I'm gonna pull this guy out of here. These are really tight and tiny looking brushes. There's no wrong answer here. It just really depends on the area you wanna cover. I like something fluffy but small. This is gonna be great. This is from Jaclyn Hill. She has great brushes, by the way. She's a cool chick. All right, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side, right? So I'm not gonna overthink it. I gotta look in the mirror really quick. All right, right here, don't overthink it, right? As if you're going underneath the lash line and coming up, 
And when you close your eye, look, I have already created the perfect wing has started. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm not gonna overthink it. I'm gonna take that and just let my applicator go into the natural contour of my eye and then take a little bit of that color. And because I want it to be deeper, do you see how I'm just laying the applicator down? I'm just going for it because this is beautiful and I'm really going to show you how pretty this can be. That's very dark, right? I'm not afraid. Don't be scared. We're not cutting bangs. I always say this to my clients. So you can go in with this brush and you can see that I'm using circular motion. And look at how pretty that just blends out. It is up to me if I want to keep that or if I want to soften it. Right now, I'm going to come underneath the eye. I really like this very sexy kind of dramatic outer eye. It's really, really pretty. I'm definitely making sure with my brush, I'm coming in kind of sideways. I don't want, I don't want you to see anything but just this beautiful from light to medium to dark soft blend. Look how pretty. And so with my fingers, I can go up and press this if I felt as though this was a little too heavy, or I can just keep it because this is gorgeous, or I can take my fluffy brush and I can come in and I can just buff this out just a little bit more, but not too much because this eye is the eye I am going to be wearing out this evening and I am very excited about it. So that is beautiful. I am going to definitely go back in with luster and really add a beautiful highlighted brow bone here. You can again do one of two things. You can do your pinky, your ring finger, or take a flat synthetic brush, but like what I'm doing and really look at that glow, really pop that glow. And I like to bring it down a little bit into where the dark was because that just softens any potential harshness that I might think like, ooh, maybe I went a little too heavy, but no, <laughs> no, it's so beautiful. So that is how you use the Lid Glow Cream Shadows. I hope that this helped you. Please have fun. Do not hesitate to reach out. Um, definitely enjoy uh, filming this for you. And I hope that this helps you with all of your clients. Mwah. Okay, so the difference really is this eye was blended out with brushes. This eye was blended out with fingers. You can see the extreme difference. This eye is definitely softly contoured. Great day look, great night look, just great makeup period. Definitely still gives a lifted look to the eye. Definitely gives a nice uh, sculpted soft look, no heavy lines. And then we move to bam, look at the difference in the lift because we went darker. So you see how light brings out and dark recedes. If this doesn't show you, <laughs> pretty cool. So this eye, as you can see, brushes. So fun. I hope this helped you. Enjoy.